So without further delay, I'm pleased to turn it over to Mayor Adams. Well, thank, thanks so much, uh, uh, Fabian. Uh, I think this morning and uh, the team, we did our 8 a.m. Br uh, briefing, and probably the most uh, impactful part was when uh, Lisa, our chief counsel, uh, spoke to us as a team. And uh, she just simply stated that um, uh, to the, uh, the people of this city who are Jewish, uh, she said, we're not all right. And I know this is a big city, and we have so many issues we juggle at one time, and we tend to uh, just move through the city and just, you know, on to the next one. Uh, but our Jewish brothers and sisters are, are hurting. They're hurting deeply. And uh, many of them are part of my cabinet. And, you know, I say to them, uh, we are, we're sorry. We're sorry for your pain. Uh, when we look over the tapes and videos of what happened to innocent people, and those of us who have children, uh, we do everything possible to protect our children. And I can only imagine having Jordan snatched and uh, someone would drag him through the streets or someone would uh, rape a niece or nephew or uh, watching the stoic look on the face of the grandmother as she uh, was being uh, drove away. And we, f we feel for our Jewish brothers and sisters, and we know you're not all right. Uh, you know, during the, the highest and one of the most significant holidays of the year, uh, someone would premeditate and carry out such a, a barbaric act that we've witnessed. And these are not uh, soldiers, they're terrorists. They're terrorists. And they wanted to not only inflict as much physical pain, they wanted to inflict uh, emotional pain and trauma. And that was intentional. And I just think um, anyone who celebrates this, uh, who align themselves with this, uh, need to do some real soul searching. Uh, because uh, no matter what our opinions are, uh, there are lines that you just don't cross. You just don't cross. And, you know, I think about my journey to Africa at the door of no return and sitting in the dungeons where, uh, where uh, black mothers uh, were there for months, raped and, and treated in an inhumane fashion. I think about uh, uh, those who have gone through terrible times across the globe. You, you think that we are beyond that. You think that's behind us. And Hamas told us that as long as they are in existence, it's not behind us. And that was, I, those who believe uh, that the Jewish community can put this behind them, they need to look at those videos. They need to watch what happened to innocent people, innocent people. They were not soldiers. They were just young people, adults, family members. <clears throat> innocent people were treated in this magnitude. And New York City has the largest Jewish population outside of Israel. And this is a silly city where tolerance and acceptance and coexistence is, is important. And I want to thank my Muslim brothers and sisters who reached out and added their voices, who called and, 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 and talked about how horrific this is, our Sikh community, our Christian community, all of our interfaith communities. And tomorrow we're having an event at... at uh, Gracie Mansion, and this is going to be at the top of our list as we start the process of assisting those brothers and sisters who have Jewish faith here in the healing process they have to go through. But we are deeply, deeply sorry as an administration, not only to my staffers and my team, Fabian's sister was there, uh, Kayla was with me in South America as she navigated the press there, and worried about her loved ones and family members who were in, in Israel. Uh, so many of my friends are still holding their breaths because they don't know the final outcome of their loved ones. And I just want to be extremely clear uh, that this administration is deeply sorry for what happened. Uh, my Latin America trip was 